Hello everyone and welcome. Today, we're tackling a truth that every single one of us preparing for the USMLE Step 1 needs to internalize. This isn't just another study tip. It's the foundational principle for your success. Pathology is not merely another subject on your extensive curriculum. It is, without exaggeration, the absolute cornerstone of your USMLE Step 1 journey. This is a critical truth for every exam preparer out there. Understanding this fact early can fundamentally shift your study strategy and significantly impact your outcome. Pathology forms the fundamental basis of the entire exam, underpinning so much of what you will be tested on. My central message today is clear and unwavering. Pathology's paramount importance cannot be overstated. It is the single most crucial discipline you will master for step one. Consider pathology the linchpin of your entire step one preparation. Without a robust understanding here, other subjects will feel disconnected and far more challenging to grasp. Let's talk numbers, because the quantitative significance of pathology on the USMLE step one is truly staggering. This isn't just anecdotal. It's a statistical reality that demands your attention. Pathology potentially accounts for an astonishing 40 to 55% of the entire exam's content. Think about that for a moment. Over half of your exam could hinge on your pathology knowledge. This statistic alone should underscore the absolute necessity of developing a deep, comprehensive understanding of this subject. It's not just a recommendation, it's a strategic imperative. For many students, this high percentage serves as a significant wake-up call. It highlights that pathology isn't just one piece of the puzzle. It's the largest and most central piece. A comprehensive and nuanced grasp of pathology directly impacts your overall exam performance more than any other single subject. This is where you can truly make or break your score. If you're finding this information valuable, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us create more content like this for the medical student community. Achieving a solid understanding of pathology for step one means going far beyond simple memorization of facts. The exam demands a much deeper engagement with the material. It necessitates a true grasp of the underlying mechanisms of disease. You need to understand the why behind the what, not just rote recall of symptoms or treatments. Of course, mastering the high yield concepts that frequently appear on the exam is absolutely essential. These are your bread and butter, the topics you expect to see. However, the USMLE Step 1 is notorious for testing knowledge in unexpected ways. More obscure, seemingly low yield details are also considered fair game and can appear the exam can and will test your knowledge from various angles, often presenting information in novel formats or clinical vignettes you haven't seen before. Be prepared for anything. Students must be able to apply their understanding of pathological processes to novel clinical scenarios. This is where true comprehension shines, not just memorization. This means you need to connect the dots between basic science and clinical presentation it's about synthesis, not just isolated facts. Therefore, a comprehensive and integrated approach to studying pathology is not just beneficial, it is absolutely crucial for success. Don't leave any stone unturned. One of the most powerful aspects of pathology is its profound interconnectedness with every other medical discipline. It truly is the central hub of medical knowledge. Understanding the pathological basis of a disease is absolutely crucial for comprehending its clinical presentation. Symptoms don't just appear, they stem from underlying cellular and tissue changes. Similarly, pathology knowledge is vital for comprehending disease diagnosis. How can you interpret lab results or imaging findings without understanding the disease process they reflect? Furthermore, pathology knowledge is key to understanding appropriate treatment strategies. Effective interventions are designed to target specific pathological mechanisms. A step one exam often tests your ability to synthesize information from various subjects, not just recall isolated facts. Pathology provides the framework for this synthesis, an integrated approach to learning, where you constantly link pathology to pharmacology, physiology, microbiology, and anatomy is key to success on the exam. 
This is how you build a robust mental model. Let's consider an example, understanding the pathophysiology of pneumonia. This knowledge aids your understanding of its symptoms, such as cough and fever, and why they occur. It also clarifies the rationale behind diagnostic tests like chest x-rays showing infiltrates or sputum cultures identifying the causative agent. You see the disease process unfolding. Finally, this pathological understanding directly informs appropriate treatment strategies, such as selecting the correct antibiotic based on the likely pathogen and its mechanism of action. Pathology ties it all together. Given pathology's immense importance, developing effective strategies for mastering it is non-negotiable. This isn't about working harder, it's about working smarter. First, leverage high-quality resources. This includes foundational textbooks like Robbins, but also concise review books, comprehensive question banks, and engaging review videos. Don't just passively read or watch. Engage actively with the material. Active learning techniques are far superior to simply highlighting or rereading notes. Spaced repetition, for instance, is incredibly powerful for long-term retention of pathological concepts. Tools like Anki can be invaluable for this. Flashcards, whether physical or digital, are excellent for drilling high-yield facts, definitions, and key distinguishing features of diseases. Make them your own. Most importantly, practice questions are your best friend. They not only test your knowledge, but also train you to think like the exam writers and apply your understanding to clinical vignettes. Passive memorization alone is simply insufficient for true understanding and retention of pathology. The exam demands application, not just recall. You need to actively wrestle with the concepts, explain them in your own words, and connect them to other subjects. This is how deep learning happens. Remember, the goal isn't just to pass step one, it's to build a robust foundation for your entire medical career. These strategies will serve you well beyond the exam. If you have any go-to pathology resources or study techniques, please share them in the comments below. Let's build a community of shared knowledge and support each other. In conclusion, dedicating significant time and effort to mastering pathology is not just about passing the USMLE Step 1. It's about laying an unshakable foundation for your entire medical career. Your understanding of disease processes, their mechanisms, and their clinical manifestations will serve you every single day you practice medicine. This knowledge is truly evergreen. By prioritizing pathology, you dramatically improve your chances of step one success. You equip yourself with the most powerful tool for navigating the complexities of the exam. But more than that, you build a strong, integrated understanding of medicine that will make you a more competent, confident, and effective healthcare professional. This is an investment in your future. So take this message to heart. Make pathology your priority. Dive deep understand the mechanisms, and practice applying your knowledge relentlessly. You've got this. Your dedication now will pay dividends for years to come. If you found this discussion helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your study groups, and subscribe for more insights and strategies. Your comments and questions are always welcome, so let's keep the conversation going in the section below. Good luck with your studies.